the current version of Ubuntu can be updated with apt, but sometimes you want to update from the current version to the next version of Ubuntu. To do this, run the command do release upgrade and then hit enter. The first thing the software is going to do is go out and look for the newest version of Ubuntu. And then you have to be careful with the next key because by default you'll see that the N for continue is capitalized, meaning if you hit the enter key, it's just going to say no. So you want to type in a Y for yes. And then once it gets to the point to where it needs more privileges, it'll ask you for your password. If you are not a pseudo user, then you would have to run this command with elevated privileges or you would need a user that you can run sudo with. At this point, the package manager is going to download the new software. The installation program will give you some of these warnings about the third party software and then ask you to hit enter if you want to go ahead. If you don't want to continue, you can use control C to exit out. So we hit enter and at this point, this upgrade program is going to start downloading the packages for the next release. And this process can take quite some time depending on your connection speed and the speed of your hard drive. So just be patient, don't interrupt it. If you are able to power up your machine, go ahead and uh, plug it in. You don't wanna run it off battery power just in case it gets halfway through and you run out of battery. So we've reached the next checkpoint where the software download itself is done with the initial downloads and it's ready to start the upgrade and it's gonna to have to download essentially the next version of the operating system. So again, you wanna make sure you type in uh, Y for yes and then hit enter. It'll give you some warnings and then you wanna hit enter again. The installation process has been running for around 15 minutes and it's installed the new software, but at the end it tries to see if there are any obsolete packages that can be removed. And unless you intend to revert, it's a good idea to go ahead and hit yes to remove the old packages. It frees up the space that they took up and also gets rid of any of the installation packages that you don't need anymore. And after a few more minutes, the install is complete, but the system needs to reboot to finish the installation. So if you're ready to reboot, you go ahead and type in Y for yes, and then hit enter and the system will reboot and it should boot into the next version directly. And here the system is rebooted. Total time for this process was a little bit less than 20 minutes on my laptop. And we've successfully upgraded from the last version of Ubuntu to the next version.